there's so much trash out on the internet around what it means to be a man and how to be more masculine to get more women or to conquer society conquer yourself and it's so trashy it is such garbage at the head of this pyramid is andrew tate this is not about an andrew tate video but that guy in my opinion is a scumbag and is modeling the most unhelpful shameful despicable forms of masculinity out there on the internet and if you believe his shit and you're buying into it, chances are your masculinity manhood is deeply wounded and is in need of healing or is in need of some form of noble ethical augmentation, if you will. And today's video is about dealing with this image of the nice guy or the nice person. Oh, he's so nice. I'm so nice. Why don't I get what I want? Why doesn't that girl see how nice I am and like me back? Or why is my niceness seemingly always biting me in the face or at the ass or whatever? My name is Mike Stroh. This is the Starts With Me channel. I hope you find this video helpful. We are going to explore how ancient wisdom, in particular Stoicism and Buddhism, can teach us about the negative consequences of being a nice guy. And what we want to learn to replace it with, and that's this idea of being kind, being noble, acting with ethics. So we're not trying to be an asshole. We're not trying to be machismo and sort of that bullshit Andrew Tate, Tate nonsense. We're trying to be noble, ethical beings. And that comes through in effective, assertive, admirable behavior. And that is likely to lead you to better relationships and perhaps even to get the respect of a female that you yearn for, okay? And if you're a female watching this, you know, it can help you understand how your niceness gets in the way of more effective relationships and perhaps feeling badly about yourself or being treated badly because you're too nice. Let's take a look at the stoic perspective on the difference between a nice guy and a kind guy. As I mentioned on this channel before, stoicism is not about not feeling your emotions, pretending you don't feel emotions and being kind of cold and robotic. That is not stoicism. Stoicism is about honoring what's in front of you, acknowledging it in its wholeness and acting in alignment with virtue and ethics and nobility despite what life puts in your face. In Stoicism, niceness is really seen as a trap. It's seen as perhaps a less noble way of trying to be liked for the sake of being liked because you're scared of not being liked. So that might be saying things you don't believe, agreeing with things you don't agree with, just so you can be liked. And no doubt this is a trap. True kindness and stoicism is about what doing what is right, about acting in alignment with our virtues and our ethics, irregardless of the outcome. Marcus Aurelius once said, if it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Stoicism teaches that kindness, as opposed to being nice, involves courage, honesty, dealing with difficult emotions, and it requires wisdom and, in some sense, justice. So from this perspective, our actions, our responses, our communication with others, and perhaps in some, in some essence in, in with women that we're trying to attract, pretending to be nice will just come back to bite you because what you want to do is act with virtue and ethic and nobility. Be yourself. Be honest. If the person does not like you, then you get the information you need to not waste your time pursuing it anymore. And you also don't torture your soul with dishonesty and deceit and manipulation. And you just feed the shadow self, which is surely not to get you into a relationship that you would desire, but it's also going to rot your soul. Okay, let's switch over into the Buddhist perspective on the difference between being nice and being kind. In Buddhism, there's often a focus on the quality of our intentions behind our behaviors or behind our words. Buddhism, similar to the Stoics, views faulty niceness 
as lacking in integrity. Okay, it always comes from a place of wanting to avoid conflict or to avoid uncomfortable emotions or avoid upsetting somebody and deluding yourself that you have control over other people's emotions. In Buddhist teachings, that is not where true kindness comes from, obviously. And we want to make it very clear in our mind that being nice is not virtuous. There is nothing nice about being kind. Why do we want to let go of this illusion of niceness and embrace this idea of kindness? Well, because it's noble, because we've known for thousands of years that it is the right thing to do, despite the discomfort it may cause us or other people in certain moments. In some sense, it's a delay of gratification. With assertive, kind communication, you will, again, get the information you need, and you may upset somebody in the moment, or they may be upset by what you say. Nevertheless, after some time, they are very likely to appreciate your kindness and your honesty rather than question, and perhaps misinterpret or assume you're trying to manipulate them through false niceness. True kindness in Buddhism comes from the word karuna, which means compassion. And it also comes from this word metta, loving kindness. This kindness comes from a deeper source of wisdom, from a sense of suffering, human suffering, or human clarity, a desire for right speech, right intention, right action. And it is associated with the desire to alleviate people's suffering or to be good in the direction of others. And that is in direct contradiction to false niceness, pretending to be nice for the sake of it. So a short synopsis of this Buddhist understanding is that, again, kindness and honesty and the willingness to say things to people that they might not like or that you perceive that they might not, might not like, again, is not virtuous, and it doesn't lead to a wholesome act of service and a desire to let people know and see themselves as they are, or let them know who you are and to see yourself as who you are. And to bring this back into this idea of being the nice guy and seeking relationships, if you are not yourself and honest and open, you will never seek an effective, real, valuable relationship. So let's always bring it back to what are we trying to do? What are we trying to get? If we're trying to get a relationship or, or improve a relationship, you got to drop this bullshit nice guy attitude and be kind. Doesn't mean you need to be an asshole. Doesn't mean you need to be a jerk, etc. Means you need to be honest and sincere and to act in alignment with virtue. And again, you need to smash that delusion that being nice is somehow virtuous. So what have we learned in Buddhism and in Stoicism? Kindness is seen as a virtue. It is seen as noble behavior. Niceness is seen as weaker, as less admirable is less noble because it is in service of our insecurities, in service of our selfish needs to be liked or to fit in, and not in service of the greater good. Sometimes being truly kind really does make us feel uncomfortable, and it makes the people around us feel uncomfortable. Again, the reminder is that is in service of a greater good, of a higher virtue, of a higher nobility. And that's what we want to aim for. We want to remind ourselves of the need to delay gratification or to experience discomfort to get to the better other side of the track. So the next time you're in a discussion or you're around somebody that you like, you want to approach a girl or you want to kind of improve a relationship, see if you can catch yourself when you're automatically behaving in the nice guy way. See if you are people pleasing. See if you are avoiding discomfort and tension. Catch yourself in those moments and ask yourself, what is this in service of? What am I trying to accomplish? And if you can pause and ask yourself that question, you may be able to direct yourself into more virtuous, noble, ethical behavior. Okay? One little tip you could say that I often mention in these videos, get out a piece of paper, write down on one side of the piece of paper, draw a line down the middle, what are the nice avoidant selfish behaviors that you're engaged in on the other side what might be a more kind noble virtuous stoic buddhist action response in those moments 
And it takes a little bit of trust and courage to realize that despite the discomfort, despite the delusions of your mind and the quick need for gratification or people pleasing, the long term gains of facing the discomfort right now, being honest, being kind are far greater. I hope you found that helpful. If you like this video, like it, subscribe to this channel, consider supporting it on Patreon, all that kind of stuff. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take it easy. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.